Now, as you gather around the Thanksgiving table today, you may not all be reaching for the same dish. And that is a heavy debate at News 19 <laughs> about what actually belongs on the Thanksgiving table. So we sent reporter Mariah Wiggs out to ask families in the area what foods they have room for and the foods that won't <laughs> make the Thanksgiving cut. Now, this is a, is it on your table at all or do you have to have it? Some cranberry sauce. My father has to have cranberry yeah. sauce. I'm not the cranberry person, but yeah, even if it's just the cheap can. <laughs> I like cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce in the can, can shaped. Oh, cranberry sauce. It just adds a little spice, a little flavor to the, to the meal. <laughs> There's also a huge debate about some people thinking macaroni and cheese doesn't even belong on the table. How do you feel about that? I don't think it is necessarily traditional for Thanksgiving, but I'm never mad at mac and cheese. We have mac and cheese for those that like it. I'm just not a fan. Oh, mac and cheese. No. I cannot, cheese I don't know how people disgusting. do Thanksgiving without mac and cheese. Oh yeah, macaroni and cheese is definitely a staple, mostly because my sister is a picky eater, so that's one of her go-to sides for sure. I'm not a huge fan of mac and cheese. It's strange everybody else is, so probably no mac and cheese for me. I don't know how people do Thanksgiving without mac and cheese. <laughs> Okay, well, I say no mac and cheese because I just don't like mac and cheese anyway. So. Yes, macaroni and cheese does belong on the it table. It belongs at every meal. Perfect. At every holiday. There we have it. That, that's the tiebreaker right there. No matter what your Thanksgiving feast brings, enjoy it with family. In Huntsville, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.